Cameron Steele is a true ambassador for off-road racing. A second generation racer, Cameron grew up competing from a young age with his father, off-road champion Mark Steele. My dad was taking us to Baja when we were little kids and that's just kind of what happened. Learned how to drive a stick buggy when I was eight or nine years old and the only rule was we were at the Mint 400, don't cross that highway over there. Of course we did and got in trouble, but you know, my dad passed it down to us, my brother and I, and I just grabbed onto it and never left. I love it so much, so but without him, I, I doubt we'd be off-roading. I don't know that my goal was to make a career out of it. It was definitely something my dad had looked at and I felt, but my dad, you know, he wanted to try to teach me different stuff too. Robbie Gordon and myself kind of came into the sport around the same time and so he was going pavement racing and my dad was like, you know, we should be looking at this too and I was like, no, you taught us off-road and that's what I'm into so you weren't getting me out of it. Cameron's initial entry into the sport, like many, was on two wheels, and his love affair with motorcycles continues today. He has raced everything from bikes to buggies, and eventually made his way up into the premier unlimited truck class. My first off-road race was as a navigator, so I was a little kid, maybe 12, and uh, I was navigating with my dad, then I started navigating with Johnny Johnson, who at the time had already won you know, 15 Baja 1000s. When I started driving, pretty sure it was at the Mint 400 in the snow. I'm not sure if I had my driver's license yet. It was so much fun. I remember that day so clearly. The first day, my dad gave me the steering wheel and said, it's all you. And I brought the car back, and we finished in the top five. I didn't do too bad for a squirrely little grom. I feel like I did the right thing by starting in the smallest classes or the lower horsepower classes and, and earning my way up and learning the desert, learning how to use the lines, learning where to put your tires, all that plays into it. If you don't have the tires, you're not in the game. That's pretty much the bottom line. My history with BFGs goes way back because, I mean, there's shots of us in front of the BF Goodrich Semi in the mid 80s in our seven truck with my name on it. We've done some other stuff and now we know, after being a part of the engineering and the technology, the different styles of tires, the different compounds of tires, the people that test on the tires, I mean, there's so much to having the right tire to win the race. It's unbelievable what you can put the tires through. And being on BFG, as far as I'm concerned, is, I mean, why race any other way? Cameron has a rich history racing the meet and has won multiple class championships. But so far, the overall win has eluded him. I've been fortunate enough to win in 5 1600 a couple times, won in mid sized trucks a couple times, as recently as with my wife and Jamie Campbell, like in 2009, finished second overall in the unlimited trucks. But guess what? Never won the unlimited overall. It's just like something that nags at you, right? It's like the biggest race in the United States. It's got all the glory, it's got all the TV. Every competitor is there. There's 50 unlimited trucks, right? You're in it. The Steel family name needs to be at the top of that trophy. And that's the goal, right? That's why we go. And so the Mint 400 is like right here. In my heart, I wanna get there. Can Cameron Steele take home his first Mint 400 overall victory this year? Come watch him battle a stacked field in the 2017 Polaris Razor Mint 400, presented by BF Goodrich Tires, March 1st through the 5th in Las Vegas. Visit themint400.com for complete details.